Introducing a new way to build custom portals for Business Central. Hey, I'm Eric, and um, I'm proud to introduce a, uh, a new app that we have built. Um, it's called the Advanced Portal Designer. The Advanced Portal Designer enables you to build a portal experience into Business Central. That could be customers logging in, vendors, um, whatever business relations where you have a need to exchange information, supply them with, with data, with information from Business Central, or maybe input uh, things into the system through a public website. This is not the this is not the the the, the simple um, portal designer. This is the advanced portal designer. So there is there is some need to know web technology, but then you can build almost any portal that you want. Let me show you how it works. So here we are inside Business Central, and um, this is the advanced portal designer main menu, and there's basically three columns uh, of of functionality. The first is that you build your content. And in this case, I have uh, a portal built. Um, and the, the portal is, has a bunch of different things here. I'll show you the portal in, the, in, in a second. And some of those are files, there's a report, there's some data, there's some different things. Um, and, and all these built all these web actions built the website. The second part is security because security is important. Uh, there is a built-in security model that enables you to define that when a user logs in and the user is a customer, then security filters are applied to uh, to all the data that uh, all the tables that might be in use. So you can ensure that no matter what happens the customer will only see its own data, will never see somebody else's data. Um, we have a diff different ways of authenticating. Um, in the demo I'll show you, we're using something called Auth0, which is kind of offloading the whole user management, well, part of it, uh, and the login process as a service. You can also run run basic login in, inside uh, the device portal design itself. And the last column over here is is maintenance, maintaining users, looking at uh, at, at sessions and so on. But but let, let me let's let's go to the let's go to the uh, the portal that I have built. And maybe we need to make it a big bigger. So this one is hosted on a uh, on an Azure Web uh, service. Um, so the way you install it is that you spin up an Azure Web Service, point to a, uh, a, a either grab a copy of it or point to a, uh, a GitHub repo with the, the necessary bits um, and input some, some setup data. And then you have the poll running connected to your business central. Super easy. Um, there's a front page. I need to log in. We're taking to uh, taking to the Auth0 login service. I'll just log in with my this email, and we're now on a page. So we're we're the 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 first page was also a page in the portal. Now we're on the second page. The difference is that the first page was a designated login page. So if we go back for a second and look at the the actions we have here. Uh, you can see that there is a column saying default and there's a page called dashboard that's, that's default. But we also have a page called login, which is mapped as the logging action. So, so if you're trying to access, in this case, if we go and look at, um, at the dashboard again, we can see uh, on the security that this page requires authentication. So we'll only allow to show this page to someone if they're logged in. Uh, and since this is the default page, um, then it, re it redirects us to login page and we go through a login process. On the front page here, we can see, we can see some things. We can see welcome at datum correlation. So I was logging in as an email. Uh, so if we go back, 
and check out the users here, uh, we can see that um, this was this guy that logged in, and I'm I'm mapped to a customer and customer ten thousand. So I am a datum, the customer a datum in uh, in the database. Um, we can see that we get a list of, uh, of, of, of items with their images. Uh, if I click on a chair, we get the marketing text, we get some fields, value on unit price and inventory and, and such thing. There's a breadcrumb uh, here. I can go and take a look at um, my account because I'm logged in as a customer. So here are apparently, and you can see behind my head, it says that I have paid all my my invoices. So I'm, but if I now can you see that invoices are hyperlinked. So if I click on, on this one, I get a, a download, which is the invoice report out of my business central. I can do some other things up here. I can click on projects and see what projects I'm involved in as a, as a customer, see what tasks we have on this one. I can go to sales order, see that there's two sales orders that are to me. Uh, if I go onto the sales order, I can see what the sales order is about. And there's an edit function that will actually allow me to edit some, in this case, some dates, and very big edit fields apparently. Um, and demo for YouTube. So I type in that field and if I go back to this one and go into sales orders here um, and find that sales order, we can see that it says demo for YouTube. So I have linked this field that we have here directly into the business logic. Uh, to validate in as, as that field, um, if I want to. There's a, a, one, I want to show you one more example here. Um, and um, this is one called data table. Uh, so this will flash by in a second. So let me, let me set up what, what's happening. So when, I, when we open the page, there's, there's functionality inside the page that will go out and grab in this case, all the general ledger entries in, in, in Kronos, because that's one of the tables with the most data, that's three and a half thousand records, and then show them in a dynamic data grid. So I, I click on this, it's loaded, and then it fills out those three and a half thousand records. Uh, and we scroll down, we can see that there's 235 pages of data, and, and now it's just it's just there you can we can search and we can sort and we can do all sorts of things so all of these pages are all of the all of you have seen is 100 percent built with the amounts portal designer um on each page and and what you can see so let me actually go through the project list again so i have behind my head hidden one of the i think it's actually one of the cool features on this demo is that Every page has a see the source for this page function. So if I click on this, it will tell you, show you the code that has been written to build this page. So in this case, we, we have projects. And, and this, is, this is why this is the advanced portal designer, because you, you build a web, uh, website with web technologies. Um, so we can see that it, this looks like normal HTML5, um, but there's some few added things. Up here in the header it says parse, which means in, include another template. Um, and here includes the, include the nav bar. Um, but the funny thing happens down here. Line 21, we open the job table. So this is now, well, now these tags becomes almost ale. Uh, so we open the job table uh, and, and down here in the body of where we're building, building the list, we're looping the job table until we end the loop. 
So everything's in here is repeated and we can see that this is the field. So the value of job description, the value of job starting date and the value of job status and so on. So we have written 51 lines of HTML code to build a project list. You have two ways of, of doing this uh, with, uh, where they go? Here with the advanced portal designer, you can, uh, you can either go in and and let's we can get the the the, the projects the project list here uh, i can i can go in i can edit this um, there is there's full intelligence here so so in instead of description if i want something else uh, i get all the fields that i need so if i for some reason want the location code i grab that one instead so the editor is very helpful um, but you also have an option when if you want to create a new uh, uh, new page is that we have a wizard a co-pilot an ai helper that will design pages for you uh, and you only have to select what table it is and what fields you want and, and what template you want to apply. And then it will build a, a page for you that you can then edit to your liking afterwards. Um, so with this, you can build any portal that you want uh, for Business Central. You, you decide what data to be included you decide how you can you can you can update uh, into uh, into business central you can have actions now we saw some different actions in 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 play where something is a template uh, we saw report action um, you can write code you can call into code units so you can execute your standard uh, business central business logic um, and you're completely in control uh, so if you want to try out the uh, the simple, uh, how I said the simple, the advanced portal designer, uh, there will be a link below to, uh, to, uh, to check it out. And um, thanks for, uh, for checking out this uh, introduction video.